Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty popular. No, not that guy. That guy's well, that, that guy's less popular than Nava. Nava's the beast. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh shit, nice. YouTube, 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 guess what guys? I got some good news. I got a call. Something is ready for pickup. I'll tell you what it is when I get there. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I need to tell you the truth. I got a call for, during work. I got a phone call from Albuquerque, and you know when you get phone calls from people who are out of state. I don't know anyone in New Mexico, except some of my family members, but it was an unknown number, so I didn't pick it up. And then when I went to check my voicemail, I heard the voicemail, and it was from Canon saying, Chris, the Canon 80D is ready for pickup, ready to continue vlogging and get those sick angles. So let's go there right now. I'm uh, just picking up. Okay, give me just a moment to wrap. And then, did you have a photo ID with you? I can check it. Yes. Alright, guys, so I'm here right now at Canon. Getting my camera. I'm excited, dude. These will be the two. We're tested and clean everything else. What is up guys, I'm back. Oh my gosh, I have my camera back, I'm excited. I was using this, this is the Canon 60D. I'm not sure if it, yes, damn, the focus on this is amazing. So this is the Canon 60D I got from my friend, right here. Uh, but I am now using my Canon 80D. The focus point on this Canon 80D is amazing. On here, I had to always constantly play around with the focus to make sure it's working. On this, it's all good to go, I don't have to worry about it at all. I love having it back. It's good to have my camera back, ready to get more into vlogs. Give you guys the most sickest angles imaginable. But man, look at that. I'm not sure. Oh, where's my car keys? No way. I was about to say, man. I thought I left my keys in the car. I'm too excited to get my camera. Give me a second. Let me get in the car. Oh, man. I'm excited. Oh, my gosh. It is back. Let's bring this down. Man, look at this. The quality. I'm not sure. You probably won't be able to tell because of the way I edit my videos. But the quality in this lens is, and this camera is, is the best. I love it. Got my camera back. I'm excited. What better thing to do with my camera when I get it back than to get some B-roll of me driving again. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that while I go ahead and drive to where I need to be. And um, yeah, I probably will not talk about anything today. Maybe I will, maybe later tonight, I don't know. I'm just so, so excited to get this back. A lot of good things are happening, man. A lot of good things are happening. YouTube, what is up guys? So, I'm here at work right now. What I do want to talk about really quick is really about my last vlog. A lot of people were saying that I clickbaited. It was a really bad day. And to be quite honest, it was a really bad day. I'm not gonna lie. It was, I may not have like recorded in a way that, you know, I could have to show how bad it was for me and how frustrated, but I didn't have my camera. I just had my GoPro. Right now I'm using my friend's camera. And I don't even know how to do settings, use the settings on this one yet. But when I think about it, my Canon 80D, it's still at the Canon shop. It costs 300 bucks to repair. That's expensive, man. And then my car battery died and I had to spend about 190 bucks to replace it and then I have to take in my car this Friday for repairs just thinking of all the bills I have to pay this week it was kind of overwhelming for me and when I thought about it the fact that I can even afford these things because I remember it's been a long time since I felt like this but I remember years ago when I felt like oh my gosh how am I gonna repair my car I can't even afford maintenance on my car right now a life emergency that came up how am I gonna take care of it I don't have the funds to do it but now you know all these things happening at once but the fact that I can even just take care of it like that 
I can't just take that for granted and realize and be thankful like wow I'm in this situation now and I'm able to do stuff like that. Why? Because because I did something about it to be here. And I don't remember that feeling of not being able to afford something where I have to take care of it and it's nice. That's kind of why I work because I remember going through all of that and being frustrated of not being able to afford these things, of not being able to take care of what I need to take care of. Even in regards to food, not being able to afford food and now I'm here and it's because of learning code and that changed my life. I'm just thankful to be here guys. Man, just contemplating on that. I could imagine, what about you guys? Or for everyone else, I'm sure there's, there are a lot of people out there going through that where they can't afford to pay a bill when they need to and it's absolutely necessary but you can't do something about it. And what do you do? You just have to suffer and struggle and try to survive. And, and I think that's something you have to hold on to as you're learning code and you're trying to change your life is that it can get better but you have to work to get there, to make it better. So yeah, on this journey man, it's not easy but let's keep going, keep working hard.